Okay, we're going to inspect the coupling system, which is our air and electric lines and fifth wheel area. For a Class A test, everybody has to do the coupling system. We'll start in the front here with our air lines, our couplings, our fittings are securely mounted, not leaking, they're whole. I'll check my electrical plug in. It's plugged in all the way. There should be no debris in the prongs. I would check my electrical line. It should be whole with no tape. Should not be rubbing, split or cut. Check my air lines. It should not be leaking. Should not be kinked, swollen. Should be secure so they're not rubbing. Check the fittings at this end. Rubber gaskets, grommets should be whole, should not be leaking. All my fittings should be secure, nuts in place. And again, check my plug-in, my electrical plug-in at this end. Should be all the way in, no debris in the prongs. We'll go on to our fifth wheel area. I'll start from the bottom. I'll check my bolts. Make sure there's no missing bolts. They should all be tight. I'll check my bracket. Make sure no broken welds. Should be straight. It's not rusted. I would check my locking pins. This is a closed system. My locking pins are actually on the inside. My locking pins lock in these grooves. And that's what you want to check. This fifth wheel has an exterior locking pin system but that's what you're checking for that your locking pins are locked all the way in these grooves I would check my air line that it's not leaking it's not kinked or swollen I would check my platform which is my base or my pedestal it should not be cracked it's not rusted no broken welds I'll check my release arm. This should release freely. It's pushed in now. We're hooked up. Should be in the locked position. I'll check my fifth wheel plate. My fifth wheel plate should be whole, no cracks. Should be flat. Pin should be in the side of it. This is a bolt. Should be tight. Should be greased. My fifth wheel plate should also be greased. There should be no gap in between my fifth wheel plate and my trailer apron. I would check my trailer apron. It's not separated from my trailer. Should have grease. Should be flat. No holes or cracks on my fifth wheel trailer apron. I'd like to go around back. In back, we look in the back of my fifth wheel plate. You're supposed to check to make sure your locking jaws are wrapped around your kingpin. It should be secure around the kingpin. My kingpin should also be straight. No broken welds. That welded to the trailer apron should not be chipped. Also, I would check my clearance in between my truck and trailer. Make sure that when I turn my trailer, it does not hit my landing gear or any part of my trailer. That concludes our fifth wheel area, our coupling system, and our electric lines. Next, we'll go inside the cab and do our engine start.